excited to say that FIU's 12th season of football kicked off on Saturday night. Welcome to the Panther Report, I'm Megan Clemente. There have been a lot of changes for the Panthers this season, including the hiring of head coach Ron Turner, as well as FIU joining Conference USA. Last season, FIU was considered one of the most veteran teams in the nation with more than 30 seniors. Now, only five primary starters return for the 2013 season, but that does include quarterback Jake Medlock. Let's see what happened when FIU landed in Bird Stadium to take on Maryland. First quarter, Panthers are down 6-0. FIU's Chris Ayers punts 50 yards to the Terrapins and they fumble. Cornerback Jeremiah McKinnon recovers the rock. FIU would convert it into a field goal and the Panthers would only trail by three. After a Maryland score early in the second, FIU's deficit would increase to 13. But Greg Hickman would take matters into his own hands. Brown hit as he throws, and it's loose, and that's a Maryland turnover. Greg Hickman, the defensive tackle, got in there as Brown was cutting it loose and forced the turnover. The Panthers are back in business. FIU gets the ball into the hands of Lamar Caldwell, and he makes things happen. He gets them to the fourth and goal and is able to convert. After the extra point, the Panthers were only down by 10, but Maryland would strike back with 21 unanswered points and would enter the half leading 40-10. The Panthers' D stepped it up in the second half as the Turks were held to only three points. But despite FIU's best efforts, the Panthers fell to the Terrapins 43-10. Sophomore defensive end Michael Wakefield with a notable performance. He earned a national honorable mention honors for defensive lineman from the College Football Performance Awards. Wakefield had a career-high effort leading the defensive line with seven tackles, three tackles for loss, one sack, and a fumble recovery. The Panthers will host their first game of the season when UCF travels to Miami on Friday, September 6th. The Knights will arrive fresh off of 38-7 near shutout performance against Akron last week. See that game live on CBS Sports Network at 8 p.m. Thanks for joining me on the Panther Report.